What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rolling out with this team right here that only features Pokemon that start with the letter S. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my content. But before we get started here with today's team preview, gotta give a huge shout out to the team creator Viking VGC. Thank you so much for making me another fun team. Cannot wait to use this team and use it on the rank ladder and try to get some wins with it. But uh, with that out of the way, let's get started here with today's team preview, starting off with the one and only Solgaleo. Probably the strongest Pokemon that starts with the letter S. Really can't think of another one that is better than him. So Solgaleo is going to be a big part of this team. It's got full metal body alongside with the weakest policy as its item. Sun Seal Strike, Earthquake, Wild Charge, and Protect for its four moves. Second Pokemon is going to be Spectre over here. And Spectre hasn't really been seen on the rank ladder ever since Calyrex came in. Or I should say Shadow Rider Calyrex has been allowed into play. But uh, it is still a very good Pokemon and it's not bad on the rank ladder. It has Grimnay as its ability alongside with the Focus Sash as item. It's got Bulldoze for Speed Control and for Proc and Weakness Policy on the Solgaleo. And then we got Snarl, will o and Protect for the other three moves. Middle left is going to be Staka Taka over here. Really cool Pokemon. Another one of those Pokemon that were really strong before the Legendaries came out. It's got the Beast Boost ability alongside with the Air Balloon as item. Then it's rocking Gyro Ball, Rock Slide, Trick Room, and Wide Guard to protect Pokemon from double hitting moves. Fourth Pokemon is the Pokemon that I am most excited to use on the team. It is going to be Salamence over here. Dragon and Flying type with Intimidate and Life Orb as the item. Then it's got Draco Meteor and Hurricane for two stab moves. Hydro Pump for coverage and protect for its final move. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Snorlax. The OG Pokemon that starts with the letter S. Snorlax over here, or I should say Squirtle would probably be the OG Pokemon, but everybody loves Snorlax. It's got Thick Fat, alongside with the Citrus Berry as the item. It's got Double Edge for Stab, Darkest Light for coverage, Curse as its stat boost move, and Yawn the Pokemon to sleep. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Slowbro over here. Slowbro is another Pokemon that is really good at setting up Trick Room with Oblivious and the Wakan Berry. And then it's got Body Press, Iron Defense, Slack Off, and Trick Room. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, the rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, try to get some wins with this team that only features Pokemon that start with the letter S. We got ourselves a tough one here for battle number one. We are rolling out against a super strong squad with Zacian, Groudon, Chlorophyll Venusaur, Ice Rider, Calyrex, Yveltal, and Wimbus Khan. If we win this battle, this will be a miracle. This will just be me outplaying our opponent, but how should I go into this one? How should I play it? Solgut Leo wouldn't be bad. Spectre combo. Could definitely be good. The Spectre can control special attack and attack. And at the same time, could proc the weakest policy of Solgaleo. So I really, I really do like that. I mean, what's Wimscott really going to do? Probably just pop a Tailwind. He's going to take speed control. I mean, we could bulldoze, drop a little bit of speed, and kind of go from there. Start throwing burns left and right. I kind of like that. I mean, I could pop a Trick Room, but... Mm. Mm. I don't know. We go for the Trick Room? I mean, Trick Room would probably be to play, but then he has Ice Rider Calyx, and it's just like, ugh. It's real scary. It's definitely scary, but, um, hmm. I'm gonna roll with these two. I mean, he could go into Weather Squad, and I would not like the weather. I would not like the weather whatsoever. I'm gonna bring Salamence in the back end. And then final Pokemon, um, Slowbro, maybe for the swap. If he is going to. Oh, this is so tough. I hate this game. I don't like it one bit. You know, we're just gonna go Sakataka. Screw it. Sakataka, you're coming in here. I hate <laughs> this game, dude. Why do I have to go up against this? Why do I have to go up against this? This just seems rough. It definitely seems rough. I wish there was like, oh man, I don't know. Just change the season already. Actually, we have like two more days. I just can't stand the legendaries anymore. It was fun for like a little bit, and then it's just like when they hit the when they added mythicals and just unlimit it. It was just like, bro, too much, too much. It was cool in like what was it, season, uh, series twelve? I thought series twelve was solid with only two restricted Pokemon. You can kind of just like get some work done with it, and it was it wasn't too bad. But here it's just tough. Here it's just tough. But I'm just gonna Dynamax Solgaleo right off the rip, without proccing its weakness policy with Bulldoze, because I think that the ground is gonna proc it itself. And then I'm gonna burn the Zacian, and uh, what do I burn the ground on? Take out the Zacian. We have options here. We have options. I think I'll just take out the Zacian, and I burn the ground on. That is gonna be my play right here. I think Groudon just goes for Precipice Blades. I think Zacian is just going to go for a move. Groudon might even Dynamax go for a Quake. But I think Groudon is going to proc my weakness policy around this. I'm just going to go from there. But yo, Solgaleo is shiny. Mwah. It is beautiful. One of the best shinies in the game, in my opinion. It's just colors are so vibrant and so different from its original. 
I just really like it. Are we gonna Dynamax here? He might be Dynamax going out. Sokaleo's speed's not too shabby. It's not too bad. Well, we shall see what he does. We shall see what he does. But Zacian's obviously scaring me. But 438 HP, Sokaleo is pretty good at countering up Zacian's. But is he gonna Dynamax? I think he is. Yeah, so he is gonna end up Dynamax. I don't mind it. I mean, we're gonna be burning his Groudon, which is huge. Dropping that physical attack and Spectre, it should outspeed that. So if I can burn and then have him proc my weakness policy, I can really like that. But the only problem here is now that the Groudon is slower and he's not going to proc my weakness policy first. So I don't think we can take out this Ass in here. I mean, I hope we can. That will be huge. See how this one plays out. But will -O comes out here first. Wow, we outspeed. That's actually huge. We outspeed the Zassian. I love it. Zassian's going to go for a Blade here. That's cool by me. That's going to go in the Spectre, I think. I don't mind. I already got off a of burn. I can burn his Zassian again if I want to. But Focus Ash is going to come out here. We're going to be able to drop a nice big max quake here. And we're going to get a special defense boost. And maybe, just maybe this takes him out. I don't think it does, but hopefully it does. Yeah, see, it doesn't. It sucks, man. Hate team. Hate team. I don't like it one bit. I don't like it one bit. But I'm hoping maybe a Bulldoze can take it out. That'd be big. Is he going for the quake? He's going for the Quake. So Quake's going to fly here, which I don't mind. Quake's going to proc his policy. He's going to get... Oh, no. You double down in the spec? You double down in the spec there? That's a little weird. That is definitely a little weird. Double down in the spec chair there. That is really weird. That is really weird that you just double down in the spec chair. I mean, not too bad. It's kind of smart, but at the same time, it's like, eh. But I'm just going to check out Salamence's stats real quick. 149 speed. It's not going to be as fast as the Spectre. It's the exact same speed as this, uh, as this, what's it called? As a Salamence. So from here, I think setting up a Trick Room is probably our play. So I think I'm going to do that. But Stock Attack on the field, I think we set up an easy trick. I think we set up the lovely little Trick Room. It's going to be tough if he has Calyrex in the back. I don't really want to pop Trick Room if he has Calyrex in the back. I'm going to grant a defense boost here. I'm going to get rid of this Ascian, and then I think from here... Ah, what do I do? Do I really, do I really want to pop Trick Room? I think I pop the Trick Room. I think we just get a lot of value out of the Trick Room. We're just going to hope he doesn't have Calyrex in the back end, which he might. I can definitely see him have Venusaur in the back end and Yabeltal, but Calyrex is definitely an option because he knows I have Trick Room Pokemon. But I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to pop the Trick Room, and we're going to try to get after his team. We're not doing bad right now. We are not doing bad. But it's pretty solid that uh, we we got the burn off on the ground. I wish we would have got one more turn with Spectre and he would have proc'd a weakness policy, but he played it safe, I think. I think he was thinking, like, maybe I have weakness policy on Solgaleo because most Solgaleos do. And he was like, I'm not going to proc it. I'm just going to take out the Spectre on the side. But let's see what he does here. Yo, Stock Attack is showing here. Pretty bulky Pokemon. He's going to guard it. I don't mind that at all. He just wasted a turn, which is huge. He's going to end up going for a Behemoth Blade into my Stock Attacker, who should be able to soak him pretty easily. I wouldn't say pretty easily, but should be able to soak it up, right? Correct. We got a free focus ash. Oh, you get a crit. Okay, I was wondering. I was wondering. He pops my air balloon. We get a free focus ash. Thank the Lord. But that, that's a deserving free focus ash because he got a crit. If it was like no crit, I would be like, okay, we got a free focus ash. That's RNG on our luck. But like, no, he got a crit. Get out of here. I deserve a free focus ash for that. We get the fence boost, and now we are allowed to pop off trick room. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous right there. We pop Trick Room, which I don't know if it's going to really, how much it's going to help us. Because it really depends on the Pokemon in his back end here. If he has Calyrex, it is a bad play by us, but we're taking the risk here. We're going to say he doesn't, he's not, he does not have Calyrex, right? You do not have the Calyrex. I don't think he brought it. I don't think you have it. He has it. Oh, dude, that's a tough play for us. I mean, what's called should be slowest on the field, right? My boy right here should be slowest on the field. And we have a defense boost, which is lovely. Um, I think I still take out the Calyrex. I think I just go after Calyrex, and then at this point, I just rock slide across, or do I Gyro Ball? I mean, Gyro Ball can't do any damage. Uh, I could swap and save the Sakadaka. Maybe he might not take out Sakadaka. Could we, should we double down the Calyrex? I mean, doubling down, there's no point. So Hulay is going to take it out. I mean, do we think Gyro Ball can take it out in one shot? The slower the user? Nah, we're just going to go for it. We're going to go for maybe a flinch chance here. We're going to go for maybe a flinch chance here. And Calyrex goes for Alice Switch. Okay. Actually, smart. This is smart Alice Switch. 
I mean, we're still Steel Spike in here, which is pretty solid for us. Rock Slide's gonna fly here. Get some nice damage to Calyrex. Some lovely damage to Calyrex. And he's gonna go for Steel Spike in the Who. That's gotta be Sakataka. So he's just not taking out my Sogaleo here. He's not taking out my Sogaleo. Defense is gonna get boosted. I have Salamence in the back end in a trick. I think the trick him call was. Eh. It wasn't that good. It wasn't that good, but. I feel like we have to protect our, uh, what's called at this point. We definitely have to protect our, uh, Salamence at this point and hope that he's not ally switching again. So I'm just gonna go right back after that Calyrex. I think it's gotta be my play. If he sees what's called on the field, if he sees Salamence on the field, he's probably like, yo, let me just drop a Glacial Lance. But Intimidate's gonna do some work here too. Which I really like. I really like the Intimidates, but yeah, protect. We gotta uh, drop a steel move, Sun Seal Strike, and try to get after that. If he doesn't swap the Groudon, the Groudon is in dumpster with attack. Really bad attack. It's, what is it, minus one? We're plus on defense for Solgaleo, and it is burned. So yeah, I just gotta go for this protect at this point. And we're gonna hope he doesn't go for an ally switch here. This is a solid battle. I mean, tr again, Trick Room probably wasn't the play here. We could have had some speed, but. But now we're getting after it. I was just thinking maybe he didn't have Calyrex in the back end, but he ended up having him. I was hoping it was Yveltal and Venusaur. We'll see what he wants to do. We're hoping no ally switch. No ally switch. He doesn't have the moxie to go back to back ally switches. I don't think he does. I don't think he has it in him. I think he wants the Glacial Lance. He knows he has speed, all that good stuff. He wants the Glacial Lance at this point. Right? He's like, dude, we're in a trick room. I have my Calyrex. I'm slowest. I got a four times super effective move into Salamence. Let's take it out. I think that's, that's his play. I really do think that's his play. So if we can protect here and get rid of that Calyrex, this could be a beautiful turn. And wait a minute, and Groudon protects? This could be a really good turn from us. So double protects come out here. Go for the Glacial Lands. Go for the Glacial Lands, please. Let's go. Let's go. So solid read from us. Even better that it's Groudon protected this turn. Glacial Lands isn't going to do too much to my Solgaleo. Solgaleo will be able to take this Pokemon out. And we're thriving. We're thriving really well. Oh my god, we soaked that! 13, what no, 16 damage? Oh, that's ugly for him. That's ugly for him, but great call from us. Now we're in Trick Room. He's forced to throw out a faster Pokemon, right? We don't take out? Yo, Sogaleo. Couldn't take him out there? You could not take him out there? I have to protect again, don't I? Oh, man, dude, that's ugly. That is ugly. Ugly man, we don't KO there. We don't KO. What's your stats? And we don't KO. This thing's bulky, man. It's real bulky. I think we gotta go for another protect. I do not like this game. I could go for free EQ. I think EQ might be our play here. I think EQ should be able to take out the Calyx, right? So even if the ally switches here, I'm gonna go for double protect. Bum, 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 bum. I can't believe we didn't take out there. Come on, Salamence. Land us double protect. I cannot believe we didn't take out there. We landed double protect. That's huge. We landed double protect. That is huge. He goes for another Glacial Lance. We need this EQ to take out. If this EQ doesn't take out, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry, but I think it should be able to. Definitely. Actually, I don't know. Looking at how much damage he took there. I just didn't want him to ally switch. Blade's gonna come out here. Oh, yes, it's definitely KO now. He's proccing our weakness policy. That is huge. No, I dodged it. Bro, I dodged the move that I wanted it to hit me. Please take it, Calyrex. Yo, stop this. Stop this game. I don't like this game. I don't like this game. We needed that Blades to hit me, and it doesn't hit me. That is rough. That is rough. We're popping, we're, we're popping another EQ here. Um... There's no point for us going for triple protect. It's not landing. Um, that sucks, man. <laughs> Dude, the time that I needed to actually land on me. We'll go for a Draco Meteor. I needed to land on me. He goes for Glacial Lance again. Now that sucks. I mean, we saw a shot of this. Especially if he pops my weakness policy here. If he pops my weakness policy, we have a shot here. Now that hurts, man. <laughs> we wanted the blades to hit us. We would've been thriving. We would've been thriving here. Go for Blades, please. Just for Thunder Punch. So now he doesn't want weakness policy proc. Smart little play. Do not get a paralyzed. Cool. EQ's gonna fly that. Should be able to take out Calyrex, right? 
Cool, we take out Calyx. I'm not really worried about the ground. Huh? Ground's gonna bite with a blade sooner or later. But he, we really dodged that, man. Oh my god. The one time I think I ever wanted a Precipice Blade to hit me, and it misses. The one time. I've been so big. Venusaur's gonna poke out here. Um, Sun's not out, so. Could have Focus Ash here as well, which is kind of scary, but I think we just go for Sunshine Strike right into it. And we just let Groudon do its thing. Yes, let's see how this one plays out here. Sunseal Strikes can go here. Shows that we have speed, which is gorgeous. We still definitely have a shot to win this match. But the trick and play was definitely not it. And it kind of screwed me over and put me in a tougher situation. We're going to do that. He's going to... Bruh. Bruh. Sleep out of me. Get out of my face with that. I think we definitely lost this one now. He's definitely going to go for blades. Can we dodge his blades? How much damage is this blades really going to do? Alright, we soak rather well. We just need to, like, wake up here. Get off a mean EQ. We just need to wake up and get off the meanest e EQ. We need only a one turn sleep. Gotta go for the EQ. We gotta go for the EQ. I mean, we're gonna be asleep this turn. He goes for. Oh no. Can we dodge this one? This is the one that we wanna dodge. This is the one we wanna dodge. Can we dodge this one? We should be able to eat it up regardless, but we wanna dodge this one. We, eat. we need to wake up here. Sogaleo. My man. Pots and pans. Let's get it. It's your time to shine. It is your time to shine. Just wake up. Quick naps. Quick naps only. Quick naps only. Come on, baby. Quick naps only. We want to beat this team full of legendaries. Quick naps only. Quick naps only. He's helping hand again. Quick naps only, Sogaleo. Sogaleo. Come on. Dodge it. Dodge it. Dodge it. Dodge it. Dodge it. Dodge it. GG. GG hurts the soul hurts the soul of that match that match was all over the place but hey I'll take that one to the chin that one's on me we shouldn't have popped trick room but we're on one let's hop to our second battle look for a first victory second battle coming at you guys and we're going up against yet another strong team but this team is more like a series 12 I think it was like the strongest team in series 12 so it's gonna be good in series 14 when it comes out in November so we're gonna watch out for this squad we're definitely gonna watch out for the squad but uh this guy's rocking Zacian, Groudon, Charizard, Incineroar, Gastron, and Grimmsnarl I feel like going into more so like maybe like a Salamence lead Salamence is special attacking which is really good so Intimidate will not affect them and I can Dynamax them pretty easily so I kind of like that and we can take speed and we take a lot of speed. So I'm going to go there. I might even go stock Ataka. I mean, I don't think we need stock Ataka. I could go Spectre. I actually really like Spectre here. So I'm going to go Spectre. It can't be faked out. And it can do a bunch of other things. So Galeo is a must. And then last but not least. Might want to be stock Ataka here. I mean, eh. I mean, he has ground moves. He has fire moves. What, what do I want to do? I mean, it's not bad. We are part rock. We are part rock. So I am leaning a bit more towards stock Ataka here in this situation. So I am going to do it. Plus, we do have a wide guard for double-headed moves. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. But, yo, that last battle, I cannot believe we lost that one. I shouldn't have popped the trick room, first of all. That one's on me. But then he, or we dodged a move that we needed to hit us. And then he puts us to sleep. Like, come on. Now. I wish I would have woke up and just popped the EQ and won that battle. But it be like that sometimes. It be like that. But, uh... I did not ask you guys a question of the day in the comment section down below for uh, the last battle. Well, I didn't ask it in the last battle, I should say. And that is, what is your favorite Pokemon that starts with the letter S? Since we're using an S team only, you guys gotta let me know in the comment section down below. There are tons of Pokemon. Starmie, Squirtle. Like, Squirtle's probably gonna be a lot of, up there for a lot of different po people. But for me, Sceptile. I always love Sceptile. It's one of my favorite Pokemon regardless. And that's my answer. But he's gonna end up leading these two. Again, Intimidate does not bother me. I think we just Dynamax. He might set up screens. I could Hydro Pump. I could Worm Wind. Um, I feel like just Airstream is going to be our play. Get some speed. Get some stab damage on top of that. And then I could just Bulldoze. Or I could Will-O-Wisp. I could definitely Bulldoze. Uh, shouldn't start throwing burns left and right. That's probably my best bet. I mean, he's probably going to Parting Shot, right? I could definitely see him Parting Shot onto my Salamence. But we'll see what he wants to do from here. I'm just going to throw a burn onto Grimmsnarl. Because I don't think that this airstream is going to KO. So we can just have burn start slowly chipping away. I don't mind. I could have I dropped the geyser. Geyser might have been a play here. I probably should have just dropped the geyser into the instant ore. But I want a bit more speed in case he wants to swap this turn. We shall see. Is he going for the fake out? He is going for the fake out. I don't mind that one bit. It's a solid turn from us. 
And then he sets up the light screen. So light screen's a pretty solid turn for him. Um, again, airstream's not gonna do too much. But again, a burn's a burn's gonna help us out a little bit here. So Willow Wisp is going to fly. Give us a little bit of Willow Wisp action. And then we are just gonna drop an airstream. So we'll get a bit of speed here. And a nice chunk of damage. That could lead me to go into another airstream in that slot, but I feel like he just sets up a reflect and then he like accepts his fate of dying. So I might swap. I might swap my what's it called here? I might swap my Spectre. Let's go for a geyser. So I can go for geyser and then I can swap into a Pokemon more like Sakataka. Is that what I want to do? I feel like Sakataka could be solid here. I'm gonna go Sakataka. Save my Spectre for another time. Especially with it still having its uh, focus hash. I feel like we get a lot of value with it in the back end. So I'm gonna swap into Sakataka here. I'm going to drop this lovely geyser. And we're gonna go from there. So Scary Face is gonna poke out here. That's totally fine. Cause I'm, I'm definitely popping Trick after that. This Pokemon's already slow as dirt. This Pokemon is already slow as dirt. We're gonna geyser up here. And I think he might be going for like a Darkest Lariat here. Into my Spectre slot, but there's some big damage. If we would have went for that turn one, I mean, no, we wouldn't have killed him. But uh, if we would have had that without the light screen, he definitely would have been dead. Definitely would have been dead. Party shots can come out here, and that's what I was waiting for. And now it's definitely the time to pop a Trick Room. Now is definitely the time to pop a Trick Room. The so Trick Room's gonna come out here. Let's see who he goes into. I mean, he has Zassy, and I could definitely see Zassy coming out here, or even Groudon. But if Groudon comes out here, the best part about it is that he we have an air balloon. And we are flying. So maybe he missed my air balloon. Maybe he doesn't even know that I have air balloon. Because so, I do it sometimes. I totally forget to read or like see the chat pop up that this dude has an air balloon. I feel like there should be like a sign over top of him. Like this dude has air balloon. This guy right here has air balloon. <laughs> He's going to change weather back. I feel like we just worm went into him and we drop attack and then trick him gets popped. I like that has to be a play. I like this is definitely a play. This one's going to be close, too. I'm telling you. We're going to have some tough battles with this. So he's going to set up his Reflect. I'm fine with that. Salamence so is going to go first. And we're going to drop Attack before he even attacks. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So let's see how much damage we really do. Pretty much nothing. I mean, Reflect and minus one on Attack Board. Or minus one on Special Attack. Kind of sucks. But at least we get the Attack Drop on the Groudon. Now it goes for Rock Slide. That's fine. He pops my Air Balloon. It's a little super effective shot off. And then from here, we just pop a chicken. I'm all about this. I flinched? Bro, what you mean? I flinched. I suck. Dude, now I don't have my air boy. Now I can pop a ground. Mm. Bruh. Bruh, 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 bruh. I'm not a fan. Um, I'm just gonna go Spectre here. Do I go Spectre? It sucks, man. This is awful. Should protect this turn. What do I do? Now I'm gonna swap. I'd rather you have that intimidate for later. I'm gonna swap into my Spectre here. And I'm just gonna gyro ball for the KO here. I need to get rid of this thing right here. I need to get rid of the Grimstone. Because if I bring out Spectre here, I would love to get off a burn on the Groudon. But I cannot if uh, Grimstone's on the field. Because, oh, there goes Blades. Saka Taka dodge that. That's a big time dodge, Saka. But I cannot do it with uh, this thing on the field because uh, you're going after him. I mean, oh, I eat that up, beautiful. Because he can slow me down and make Grimstar or ground on faster. So I got to get rid of him right here. It's gorgeous. And hopefully he doesn't bring on somebody super fast like Sassy. That would be tough for us, but. Mm. Is that going to boost my defense? Boost my attack. Okay. Unless Zassian doesn't come out on the field, but we know Zassian's going to come out on the field. It's gonna be a pain in my neck. Charizard. Uh, I think I outspeed Charizard. I think I outspeed Charizard. I really do think I outspeed Charizard. Let me see your speed, Spectre. You gotta be faster than Charizard, right? Oh, 1000% you're faster than Charizard. Okay, so from here, I think it's just a fair play to go into a burn onto Groudon and just try to pop this Trick Room. Because my backhand Pokemon are not faster than Charizard, and Charizard might get the Dynamax here. So, we'll see. This gotta be Charizard, right? This has got to be Charizard. He's got to be going for a blade. I would love to get off Trick Room here. 
He's, I, I don't think we're getting off trick room. I think he's picking up the double KO easily. This is not looking good for us. No bueno. No good. As, maybe if we can dodge the blade, then we could be sitting good, but we'll see. Will Lewis is going to fly here. But he's got he's to be doubling down into my Staka Taka, right? Let's see. Wildfire's going to fly here. Go after Spectre, please. Then you go after Staka. And you just get absolutely ripped. Not not even a chance. <laughs> not even a chance. We're surrounded by fire. I would love for my Spectre to dodge this because this could be pretty big for us. But I don't think he is. Yeah, nope. No, no, no. Mm. Bro, going up against these tough teams. Oh, we eat, though. But, mm, but you know, the Wildfire's going to take us out. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. I would love to get off a Snarl there. Okay, so we get an Intimidate off here. Um... And we lose. We like lose this a thousand times. <laughs> we lose this, right? I'm trying to think of ways we can win this. I mean, he just wildfires in my Sogaleo. We die. We can't die next to be able to eat it up. I love using these lighter teams, but it's so hard to win with them when you're going up against these really powerful teams. But we're trying. We're putting up some good fights. We really are. But I don't think this battle's it. Hmm. We don't have Dynamax. If I get off a wild charge, that would be nice. I would love to go for a wild charge and just double into this Pokemon right here. So I'm, I guess I'll double, but he outspeeds us and all that good stuff. So tough, tough battle. He withdraws ground. What a coward. He brings out Incineroar. Does nothing. You do nothing. Intimidate does nothing. We're special attacking on Salamence and we have full metal body. But he will have fake out next turn, which would be big. But I don't know. I don't know. Wildfire's going in Sogaleo. Yeah. Good game. Good game. No shot, yo. Charizard's just too strong. And all these other Pokemon are just way too strong. I can't really counter them with the team that I have, but still. A lot of fun using this team. And you guys know the deal. We do not get swept in a best of three series. Or well, not best of three series. In, a, in our three battles. So you guys know in that third and final battle, we are going to pick up a win for you guys. We are definitely going to pick up a win for you guys. Final battle coming at you guys. We are sitting at 0-2. We need to grab ourselves a win here. Because you guys know... In any of my YouTube videos, I do not go 0-3. But it's been tough playing up against these really strong teams with this off-meta team. But this off-meta team is so much fun to use. Hopefully, we grab ourselves a win here. We definitely are going through this guy. It's Dragonite, Palkia, Regilecki, Incineroar, Grimmsnarl, and Zacian. I feel like this is just a fine play to just go into Spectre Sogaleo. I think it is a pretty easy play here as well. So, I'm just going to go into them two. Roll out from there. Bring in Salamence because Salamence is an absolute beast. And then final Pokemon. I just really like Stockataka up against a lot of these Pokemon. I just like the Stockataka. We're going to bring it in. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three for you guys. Because, again, we're 0-2. We don't go 0-3. So, we're going to win this battle right here. But I think Proc into Policy is going to be our play turn one. Uh, he could go into Palkia. He could go into Incineroar. I mean, I would not mind him going into Incineroar because he gets no value out of Incineroar, really. Because his fake out will not work because I'm Dynamax and Solgaleo. And then on top of that is Intimidate's going to intimidate a full metal body Pokemon with my Solgaleo. And then intimidate a special attacker with a Spectre. I mean, I'm cool with it. I mean, Grimstar could definitely come out here. But I feel like I just Dynamax, Steel Spike, get the Fence Boost rolling. Which could be a big turn for us. From us. I, would, I wouldn't mind that. I would not mind it. Obviously, Palkia can come out here as well. And pop a Trick Room. But we have Stock Attack in the back end. Stock Ataka. It was so good. That Pokemon was so good before Light Change came out. I kind of miss it. I kind of miss it. Well, let's see who he leads. He has so many different options. Like the the, the team that he has, is really strong. but I I, I I can say it's gonna be a pretty fair battle. Dragonite and Palkia come out here. Okay. Um. Hmm. Huh, I mean, I could just snarl here. I really could. I really could just snarl. Let's see what he wants to do. I mean, I could definitely proc weak this policy. He could pop a Trick Room. I mean, will Trick Room really benefit him that much? Snarl wouldn't be bad here, but I feel like just going here. Proc and weak this policy. Dynamaxing. Steel spiking into the Dragonite slot. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I mean, I know he's multi-scaled, but a defense boost could be good because I know that thing is physical attacking. But depending on what he Dynamaxes will depending will depend my next turn. Because I can go into a will o wisp into if he Dynamaxes Dragonite, I can go into a Snarl if he Dynamaxes Palkia. But I can definitely see him popping a Trick Room here as well. A lot of different options. But yeah, I think I think Dynamax and our Solgaleo is going to be the play. But Dragonite's ability is so good. Multi-scale? Hopefully it's inner focus. 
Then I'm pretty sure they learn Inner Focus as well. But yeah, multi scale is so good. It just neglects a lot of damage from the first incoming shot. I mean, if we had an ice move, it would be a different story because it would be four times super effective. But we're just using a nice, lovely little stab steel spike into the Dragonite. That's going to be a weakness posture prop, but this guy's taking a little bit to decide what he wants to do. I'm curious to see what he's going to do. I think he might make the trick room play, which I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, once he takes out Staka, or not Staka Taka, once he takes out uh, Spectre, then I can pop into uh, Staka Taka if he does pop trick room. But I also do have Intimidate. I also do have Intimidate, which isn't bad. Let's see what he does here. Is he going to Dynamax? He's not going to Dynamax. He protects Dragonite. That, that ain't too bad. He's got to be popping trick room at this point, right? Bulldo's going to come out here. I don't mind that too much. I'm just going to start snarling next turn then. He pops the trick room. But we'll pop policy. We will go from there. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Now, I, still have, I will still have Focus Ash on Spectre, which is good if he does pop trick room. The Seal Spike's going to fly. We're going to get Defense Boost, take off the Multi-Scale, and do a little bit of damage. Actually, not bad damage right there. We know another Steel Spike can KO. Um, hmm. What are you going for, Palkia? This got to be a trick room play, right? No, Spatial Man comes through. I'm all about it. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. Um, we're defense boosted. This thing's leftovers. There's lefty leftovers. There's lefty leftovers. I'm just going to start snarling here. I'm going to take out the Dragonite with a Steel Spike, right? He had Zassy in on his team, right? He does. I, I got to just start boosting defense here. Best, best play. Boost defense. Take out the Dragonite here. Force a Pokemon to come out here. I'm all about it. Spectre is going to be fastest on the field. It's going to be huge because I get this special attack drop on this Palkia. Snarl flies out here. Beautiful. Special attack drop coming out here. And Steel Spike. Steel Spike should take out Dragonite. No problem, right? I mean, outspeed him. That's gorgeous. So yeah, we're going to say bye-bye Dragonite here. See you later, buddy. Cool, we get rid of it. Awesome. So we get another turn with a new Pokemon out here. And we have the Palkia minus one. So if I keep this Palkia out on the field... With his special attack drops, we can really control the battle. Blizzard coming in hot. Spectre dodge it. Oh, the double dodge. Dude, that's a risky play right there. This dude's going for risky plays. The Blizzard with no hail. I would never. Not me. He goes into Incineroar. I'm totally cool with that. I'm just going to Quake it. I'm going to Quake it to KO. I'm going to Snarl Quake. It's a pretty simple play. It's a pretty simple play because with Quake and the weakest policy proc, it takes him out all day. And we get a special defense boost, and then that forces Palkia to stay on the field. Oh, he just cancels the battle. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Like I promised you guys, a win in battle number three. We got we went one and two for today's video with three solid battles all across the board. Another letter team in the books for the Jeans YouTube channel. Viking VGC, thank you so much for sending me the team. I absolutely loved it. Wish I could have got a winning record, but hey, I feel like the first two battles were definitely awesome battles and definitely enjoyable to watch. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.